Hey guys! And go! Today we will try and build the Roland TB303 in VCV Rack. And since the 303 doesn't have too many features, it will not be a long process, but I will try to show you also later how to use a few of its features with individual modules, so you can use this in other patches with other voices. And once again, I will use color coding so it's easier to see what's going on. And of course, the final patches will be available in the description along with the strip files. So so you can load this voice in any of your patches. Now the first thing we will need is an oscillator, so I will use the even VCO from Befaco, and there are a few reasons for this. First of all, it has the sawtooth and square waves, and um, so we have the same waveforms just like on the original 303, and it has also the octave knob, so we can easily change the octaves. Now on the 303, there's a switch to switch between the waveforms, so let's use the switch from Bog Audio, which will look like this. And um, we will send the sawtooth wave, again, red is audio, the sawtooth wave to the high input and the square wave to the low input. And um, let's activate also the latch mode, just like this. So when we trigger the switch, it will not move back to the default state. So now if I switch it, you see it stays on high or stays on low. Very nice. Let's also take this as waveform, I have here the text module from Submarine, and this will just help us to take this waveform. So we know here we are switching the waveforms, really nice. And now there's a really nice module from Autin, I think it's pronounced Autin, that will emulate the whole filter section of the 303. It's called Bass, and it will look like this, very nice. Um, let's use the signal from the switch to the oscillator input and uh, now we can take this also filter and um, let's do something like this it's not uh, going to be a big patch but still uh, I like taking stuff <laughs> okay now here we have everything we need we have the cutoff we have the resonance we have the decay time we have also the envelope modulation amount we also have the accent input and accent uh, control. So we have all of the features uh, of the 303. And the beauty about modular is that we also have CV inputs. So we can um, modulate everything. But let's for now send the output to the mixer. And now we need a sequencer to sequence everything. And uh, we will use the phrase sequencer from impromptu. Um, modular which has all of the features of the 303 sequencer and much more and we will need also a clock to drive the sequencer so we will use clocked the smaller version of clocked also from impromptu and this we can tag sequencer um, sequencer very nice now let's use the clock i will use the first output of the clock um, clock is blue to drive the sequencer. Let's also set uh, the reset to it. And now I will set a multiplication of four for this clock. So we have the 16th notes fill, and of course you can use whatever you want. Let's send the CV output um, from the sequencer to the volt per octave input of the even VCO. This will uh, create the pitch. And now I will use the gate one output to trigger the bass module and we will already have sound very nice let's lower the octaves oh yeah oh yes very nice okay now we can start programming a sequence so let me just uh, zoom in on the phrase sequencer so what we have here we have 16 steps we have a, a sort of a keyboard here that we can program the notes um, and we have a few ways to do this so first of all i can go note by or step by step and change the note so here we have c here i can change this for example to let's say e flat and then let's go to f and so on or um, if i hold control or command on the mac and i hit the right click on the mouse it will copy this note to the next step and move already to the next step so we can really quickly program a sequence so if now i do this you see we still have f but we are on the fourth step so i can change this to g for example and do this again and go to b flat oh yeah 
And now for example, B flat, I can again move, copy and move to the next step, but then I can create a tied step. Oh yeah. And then I can move back to G, let's say. And then when it's mo it's, it moves to G, I want to add a slide or a glide or portamento. And have this step again tied. Oh yeah. And here we can change the time of the slide. And now I can add a few more steps. So let's uh, copy this, for example, and go one octave up. Oh yeah. And then copy this and go to F. Oh yeah, and then copy this and E flat but an octave lower. And then just like this create a sequence. Oh yeah. And of course we can play a bit with that. Oh yes. Okay, now we can add accents, for example, with using the gate 2. So let's send the gate 2, again, gates are blue, to the accent input. And now, let's say I want on step 3 an accent, so I will go to step 3, and I will hit the gate 2, and this will activate the gate 2, which will send an accent. Oh yeah. And let's add another step. And another one. Maybe do this. Oh yeah. Very cool. And now, of course, just like on the 303, we can chain a few sequences or patterns together and create a whole song. So let's do this. Let's first of all create a few more sequences so I can copy the, the, all of the sequence to sequence number two. Copy paste, really easy. And then change a few things here. So let's uh, shorten the length to, let's say, 12 steps. And maybe, maybe add a few more accents. Very nice. And then copy this to sequence 3, let's say. And then sequence 3 will be back 16 steps. And let's say, let's transpose this. I don't know, let's transpose this by 7 semitones. And now when I go to song mode, I can create a chain of those sequences or patterns. So first of all, let's change the length. Or let's just see the length because it's four steps and this is exactly what I want. So we have a four step song or a four sequence or patterns song. So let's leave it like this. And now, again, we have a few options. We can go step by step and change the sequence number. Or when I stay here hovered above this uh, window and I hit a number, it will change to the step number. Just like this. Or... Um, let's say this one I want to uh, to keep at uh, phrase one or sequence one. If I hit the spacebar, it will move to the next step, just like this. And now I can change the number. So let's say here I want a uh, sequence two. I hit spacebar again. This will stay sequence one. And then again, the last one, the last step will be sequence three. Oh yeah. So now we have a song programmed, we can add also, of course, of course, of course, we can add just for fun some reverb to this, with a nice reverb from Plateau, let's just send this to the mixer, add some modulation, lower the lows, lower the decay. Oh man. We 
can add, of course, also a nice bass drum with knock from Vult. And we'll use the main clock. Let's reset everything. Oh yeah! Okay, very cool. So this is basically it, actually. <laughs> this is the 303. Um, but let me show you how to build this bass module from scratch. Um, so you can use these techniques in other patches um, or maybe with other voices. So let's have a look. Okay, so here we have the same voice um, with a different sequence programmed. And let's start with using a filter. So I will use the relatively new filter from Bog Audio. Very nice. Let's send the voice again from the switch. To the filter and now we will need a VCA so I will use the VCA from VCV and an envelope generator so let's use the AD envelope from Nischi which is really plucky and nice let's send the filter to the or the voice to the VCA and the, v, the envelope to modulate the VCA and now we can send this to the mixer and now let's use again the gate one in this case it will trigger the envelope we are using oh yeah and we have the voice maybe set a quite uh, just a small uh, tech time so we don't have this click very nice maybe a bit more decay so now we have the filter we can add resonance it will not self oscillate in this case we can change the slope It's not really the 303 sound, this is why I used also the bass module before. But this is really nice just to see what's going on um, under the hood. Okay, so now we have the sequence. But now let's add the envelope modulation, just like we have on the 303. So what we will do, we will send the envelope, the same envelope to the FM input of the filter, the frequency modulation, which will modulate the frequency of the filter. And now we have control over the amount with the FM knob. Oh yeah. Very nice. Of course we can change this again to square or so. Oh yeah. So now let's add another feature of the 303, which is the accent control. So let's add also accents. So let's use another AD envelope. I will just duplicate the one we have here already. And now we will use a mixer from Bog Audio to mix this envelope um, with the first envelope that goes to the FM input. So let's use again the mixer from Bog Audio, which will look like this. I will just place it here. Very nice. And now I will uh, use mix the first envelope Let's already send this to the FM input with the second envelope. So we have two envelopes going to the FM input, but the second envelope will be triggered from the gate to trigger, which will be just like before our accents. So let's send this. Oh yeah. So you can hear we have also accents. I can take the scale also just a bit up so it's a bit stronger than the first envelope. And we have the accents. So again, you can use this also in, uh, for other voices, just mix another envelope with a different trigger to add um, accents to your sound. Let's add a nice kick again. Let's reset everything. Oh yeah! Oh man! Very nice. 
very cool so again this was it um, I will put a link in the description to the patches and also to the strip files let me just show you for a second what is this a strip module so the strip module from Sturmelder there will be of course a link in the description to where you can get it you just it's uh, free by the way you just load it right click it and then uh, click load and then you can load the strip files which means that you have all of the modules that I'm using here for the voice I will not add the kick and the mixer and this you don't really need so and uh, the uh, cables will be already patched also so you don't have to patch anything you have the modules with the patch uh, cables and you can load it in any of your patches just make sure you have enough space for it and that's it you just send it to the mixer and you have everything running you have this voice in your patch um, and that's it I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please hit the like button if you enjoy what I do consider becoming also a patreon if you want to see more videos like this please subscribe and hit the bell and have a good one